Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. I always like to kick things off with something fun and interesting. And virtual reality tech, it was supposed to be the next big thing. But to be honest, not a lot of folks are overly excited about it. And it could be that, well, it makes people vomit. Research data shows that 40 to 70% of folks who are using VR, they get motion sickness within just 15 minutes of having the headset on. And for women, they're not really sure why, uh, but that number jumps to 80%. Yes, 80% of people are getting sick in VR glasses. Um, Aren't you just glad I brought this up? Oh, ho, ho, that was bad. I know. And on that happy note, welcome. It's called the Kim Commando Show because I just happen to be Kim Commando. It's the nation's largest, biggest, best show about all things digital. And you're about ready to get more tech smarts because every single thing is now a tech thing. And if you're tuning in for just the first time, a warm welcome. We're delighted to have you joining us. And to our regulars, it's great to have you back. And you can find my award-winning show across 420 fantastic stations here in the United States. You can find it streaming in your favorite radio app. Just search for my last name, Commando. And if you're more into podcasts and webcasts, head over to commando.com. That's where you can join the Commando community. You get an experience that's 100% commercial free. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I'm always just a click away. And a special shout out goes to our listeners on the American Forces Network Radio, serving more than 375,000 American servicemen and women in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, and the Space Force in 175 different countries. And our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us. And just a quick reminder that you can always drop me your questions over at our website at commando.com. There's a button there on the homepage that says email Kim. All right, it is totally my labor of love. I check out at least 35 different websites every single day to make sure that you're up to date on everything that's going on in the tech universe. And here are the top five things that you need to know. And let's start with job seekers. Now, you're probably dreaming about landing that fully remote job. And you know, you've heard about all your friends that are working around the world. You're like, I wanna do that too. Well, if you haven't done it already, don't get your hopes up too high. Even if your resume is top notch, the competition is fierce. Uh, Business Insider says that you're 60 times more likely to get into Harvard than to land a job that lets you work from home full time. The reality is that most of us are clocking in the office uh, most days of the week. Now, I know a lot of people are heading back, but here's a heads up is that times have changed and bosses are watching more closely than ever. Uh, Companies are now using badge data to track how often you're inside the building. Meta actually told its employees they're going to start checking all the time. They want to make sure that you're in the office at least three days a week. And if you're not, uh, you could get fired. So if you're job hunting or getting ready to get back into the office, just know that the landscape, it's a lot different now than it has been over the last three years. Uh, Number two on our list, stop a must crime. That's right. It's the Sky Dio X10. It's a new drone. Listen to this. It hits speeds up to 45 miles per hour. It's pretty snug and small. A camera has a 65 times zoom. Okay, what does that mean? This camera on the drone can read a license plate from a football field's distance away. Isn't that something? Comes with infrared sensors to track people in the dark. So it can put an end to risky high speed chases, what they say. It all sounds good, but there's a downside. What does this mean to your privacy as police forces across the country start using it? Like, for example, last Labor Day weekend, the New York Police Department responded to drones about large backyard parties with surveillance drones. Again, in case you want to look this up, it's called the Sky Dio X10. It's really something. Uh, Next on our list, number three, it's a hot item. Way before you rush out to buy that new Apple iPhone 15, they're having some problems. You see, both of Apple's most expensive iPhone 15s, the $1,500 Pro and the $1,600 Pro Max, uh, they're hot. Yeah, they're hot to the touch after a few minutes. Some phones are reported to overheat to 122 degrees. Now, let me tell you something. Skin burns start at 125 degrees. Uh, It turns out the titanium case that comes in four colors, it's picking up oil from your skin, it's discoloring. Durability, even a slight bend of the phone is shattering the back glass for some folks. 
And then there's also a software bug. <laughs> Things are not going well for Apple. Uh, the iPhone's iOS 17 operating system, you have to update the phone immediately. So is it a lemon? No. Should you go out and buy one today? Probably not. I would wait a couple of weeks for them to kind of work out all the issues. Uh, moving on to number four, why are passengers suddenly acting up on flights? You've seen the videos, shouting matches, seats getting kicked, uh, people getting escorted off of flights. To give you an idea, last week, Instagram model, yeah, I always like this model, uh, Morgan Osman, she threw a fit on the plane, excusing someone of taking her seat. Within seconds, passengers had their phones out, capturing every moment. Their videos went viral instantly, and she was just nasty. She's like, you know, I'm an Instagram star. Why are you doing this? Well, why are people taking all these videos now, and why are they acting up? Well, research says that they want to be Insta-famous. That's right. So the FAA has a word of caution. Filming these chaotic events can actually escalate the situation, so they're asking you not to. Uh, my, uh, <laughs> my best advice is don't do it, and I bet that pretty soon uh, rules for filming others on airplanes may be coming out. And finally, this coming in at number five, one prime perk that you're missing out on. I just learned about this myself this past week. I guess it's all over TikTok, is that if with your Amazon Prime account, you can actually get free movie tickets. What? Yes. All you have to do is go to the Amazon Prime Premier page. That's primepremier.amazon.com, primepremier.amazon.com. It shows you a list of movie screening, screenings near you. And then you just click it. You're in business. Uh, you get two tickets per Amazon account. I tried to book some tickets for a movie here in Phoenix. It was already sold out. So you have to act really quickly. The screenings are available just 48 hours. Um, and according to Prime Premier, they're not just offering free early screenings. They're throwing in photo ops, concessions. Uh, you can check the site a week ahead. You can grab up to two tickets for a 7 p.m. showing. You get a complimentary small popcorn and drink. And once again, in case you want to check that out, it's at primepremier.amazon.com. You know, once I got fined $50 for sneaking popcorn and a drink into a movie theater, I was like, what? That's okay. I still saved money. So when you think of a YouTube influencer, what comes to mind? What? A young, hip person, right? Well, what if I told you that there's a woman by the name of Lindy Moore and she's 75 years old. And yes, she is an influencer because she lives in her van and she's given all types of tips, tricks, and secrets. And joining me here in the studio is Lindy Moore herself. Hello, Lindy. Hi. So let's just start at the beginning. Okay. Okay. When did you think like, wow, I could be a YouTube influencer? I could be doing this. Never. Never? Okay. No, I strictly started because I wanted to tell my story. And the story is? My life story. And a very different. It's a very different life. Is okay. It? Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Give me just give me how I'm a veteran. So I joined the army in, in the 60s. Wow. That's just the beginning. You know, I moved to uh, San Francisco and lived on the streets at 17. I could just go on and Keep on. Keep going. And on. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. <laughs> no, I've just been through. A, I, I've lived a very different life. I had polio when I was seven or eight. Wow. And my mother saved me from the lung machine. And um, through her strength. And she believed you could do anything you wanted to do if you wanted to do it hard enough. So I learned how to walk again. So it's just been a kind of a life. So what do you talk about on YouTube? I talk about that life and I talk about how I feel about different things. You know, what's right, what's wrong, how I think, how I live, you know. And that's a big part of it because it's... It's a big part of it. Because your channel's called Lava. Yes. And that stands for Lindy's Awesome Van Adventure. Correct. And what is part of the whole van adventure? Well, it depends on how you look at it. You can sit at home, you can look at life, and you can say, well, I'm older now, and I guess I'll just sit here and I can watch TV and watch the grandkids. Or you can say, I really want to live life to the fullest every single day and go on adventures or just live in a van. And um, I decided that I wanted something different. And van dwelling was something I was interested in. And I had watched Bob Wells for years. Mm -hmm. And I decided that I was going to do it. So did you own a house at that point? No, I was renting. Okay. And my rent had doubled in nine years. And that was also part of it, too. Not where, just, where were you living then? Uh, I was living in Davis, California. Okay. Yeah. So I've always been mostly California. 
not always, but mostly California. And so you live in what I see a, a 2013 Chevy van. Yes, I do. And that's that's your entire premise. Yeah. So how do you figure out like where you're gonna park the van that night? Is it do you go to camps or how do you do that? Well, um, you can go to BLM land. I'm a city dweller, so I am not a, a nature girl. <laughs> I'm learning. Um, I live in the city. The cops know me okay. by name. All of the businesses where I park know me. I worked at the Walmart there. Everybody in town knows me. It's a very small town. Um, the gas station gives me free ice whenever I need it. I, I just got lucky and live in a town that I'm, I'm kind of like the van lady in town. <laughs> and I clean up areas where I park. I just stay to myself and uh, try to do whatever I can for the community. And I spend my money there. So do you have a full-time job? I did until June the 2nd. I was with Walmart. So what kind of tips do you give out on your YouTube channel? I don't know that they're tips. They're just thoughts of what I think. Mm -hmm. You know, for instance, I just put out a video because I went to the park with Marley and I parked and I heard a lot of screaming and yelling between two young people in a Cadillac. And it was pretty bad. And um, they just weren't treating each other right, you know. Sure. And this is in public. And then I left there and I went to, because I just couldn't be there, you know. They were both getting at each other, just verbally. And I went to another place that I normally park where there are homeless. And there's a homeless couple there that I've seen for the last two or three years. And she has a hard time walking. And there he was helping her with the basket. They were pushing a basket, helping her walk. Mm -hmm. And the difference between the two scenarios and how we should treat each other, the yelling and the screaming, or here's this homeless couple. So should we judge a book by its cover, you know? So, so more like, so like life lessons on the road? Yeah, life lessons of what I see and what I think about, you know, um, the judgments that people may make and how they live and how I think we need to be better for a society. Well, I'm, I'm all for that yeah, 100%. Yeah, I'm just, right? That's just, you yeah. know, that's just, I see something and I, I do a video on my thoughts about, I'm called the talking head. I call myself the talking head. <laughs> I'm going to have to patent that. (laughs) I think there Um, was a group once. (laughs) (laughs) And um, I just talk about what I see and what I feel. And then I'll throw in some of my life stories. You know, when I lived in San Francisco or when I lived in Georgia or what I did in Delaware or, I mean, just things like that. And uh, I did work with the movie industry for, oh, I'd say about 10 years. And I supplied vintage clothing. I had a vintage clothing business. And um, the biggest movie I did was Titanic and worked with Deborah Scott. So, I mean, I just go on and on. I have a lot of experiences. You've had a lot of, you've had a lot of, I, a lot I've of lived a lot of different lives. I can tell that. <laughs> I can tell that, which is awesome. Um, is there one video that you have on your channel that when you were taking it, you thought, well, this isn't going to really do anything. And then suddenly you put it online and. You were surprised at the, all the reaction that you got from it? Yeah, I just had a viral uh, June, the end of June, June 26th. And it was about being um, 76 on Social Security and how hard it is to make it these days on Social Security with inflation and everything. And um, I did that video. I think it's up to 350000 I'm not sure. And that kind of shocked me. Yeah. Tell me about the video. What did you talk about in it? I was very specific about food prices and uh, buying this versus this and where to get this and just price. Everything was priced in the video. What type of food I eat and how I cook it. I spend $4 a day on food and that's my budget and how to stick with your budget. And it was just, you know, aging process. So for $4 a day on food, tell me what that consists of. Well, that can consist of mashed potatoes, which are, I keep a lot of mashed potatoes, or you could have fried rice with a uh, tuna. Okay. You've got Four dollars, and that's a, and you can eat it for three meals. That's it's. I mean, it's far from having steak and. Oh no, I don't eat steak at all. I'm kind of. I, ha- I get sick from steak. I haven't had it for years and years. And years. You know, I'm I'm like with you. I haven't had steak since I was probably 16 years old. I think I was in my 20s when I stopped eating it because it started making me sick. But hamburger, I love. I make my own chili. Or all my food is made inside the van. I have a stove. I have a bathroom. I have a bed. All kinds of storage. I have all kinds of solar. So. If you're just joining us here in the studio today is Lindy Moore. She's 76 years old. She's from Sacramento, California. 
And she's a gal who's decided to trade in the comforts of home for a life in a 2013 Chevy van. Now, Lindy, I think you're pretty amazing. So I know that our people like the nitty gritty details. So tell us more about what's in your van and how you've transformed it into a home on wheels. Tell me about the solar. Well, the solar was a a big thing I was really, really interested in. And I decided to study it. And I started studying. Well, I I talked to a professor at Davis College, and they had a lithium battery battery program. And he was talking to me about how they were trying to make it so that it wasn't so dangerous and could be used. And about that time, these solar generators or power units, I call it solar generator, but other people call it a power bank, started coming out. And I was watching Will Prowse for about four years, who is an expert on this kind of stuff, learning how to build your own unit. So I started, I knew I did not want to build my own unit because being older and not knowing electrical, even though I might be confident, I could make one slight mistake. Yeah, be bad. And you could set a fire. Right. And you have to remember that even these generators, there's a temperature. If it goes below, I believe it's uh, 22 degrees, and I could be wrong on that. The, the temperature for the height is 104 is when you start having problems. It's too hot. Mm-hmm. So at 104 degrees in your van, you have to unplug, unplug any solar panels to your generator because they can go into storage to 140 degrees in your van. My van has been at 140 degrees. Wow. So I learned that I did get some damage to my solar. So solar is very different. If you have clouds, you don't get it. If it's too hot, it doesn't uh, charge. It'll discharge, but it won't charge. So now you have no power. I have I have five units, but Do I really? keep three in my van. I have a 2,000, a 1,000, and a 300. And I use each one of them specifically for specific items. Such as? Well, the little one I use for my lighting and my, my fans. Mm-hmm. The big one, if the other two get short, I will use it to recharge all the others. Oh, I see. That's smart. And I use, I have a um, ice maker and I have a microwave and I run all of those off the big one. I have a, a fryer. Wow. I mean, I have any, pretty much what you have in your house, I have in my van, but just smaller size. Right. You know. Now, what is your, what does your family think about you living in a van and driving all around? And- well... I did. I, I do lives with my son once a month. In the first live, I told him, I said, tell them what you really think. He, my son is a, a, or ex-deputy sheriff, 25 years. He just retired. He did not want me in that van. And it took me a long time because I, out of respect for him, I wanted him to be comfortable with it. Sure. You know, and um, he finally agreed. And now he, he just thinks it's the greatest thing. He <laughs> said, you have a YouTube, you're making money. What is, what is going on here? <laughs> Like maybe I ought to get. In, maybe I ought to live in a van. Yeah. Oh no, he'd never do it. So no, no, no. But I'm. Um, I really love tiny spaces. I always have. So for me, a tiny space is very cozy, very comfortable. I have never owned a large house and wouldn't. I'm very uncomfortable in houses, even in his. Right. So if we have somebody who's who's listening or watching right now, Lindy, and they're that I guess you'd say I want to say typical older adult mm-hmm. that's 75, 70, 75 year old person who said, you know. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna make my breakfast and you know and then next day we're gonna do the same, same thing. thing. Next day we're gonna do the same thing. Now obviously you're not that way. No. But what would you tell that person? What are they missing out on? I think they're missing out on life. You know, every day we're very lucky. I'm very lucky to be seventy six. My mother died at twenty eight, my husband died at thirty seven. I'm very lucky to be seventy six. And anyone who reaches this age is very fortunate. And I think you should give back to your community. And I think that every day you should do something with your life. You you should do something. If it's just for you, have an adventure. I told you I've never been in a radio station. I know. I know. When you I'm said that, when you walked it. in, I was I'm, like. This hey. is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, we do TV out of here, too. So some radio stations are not this pretty. But, um, but I've been very blessed to have a, a career that has been successful. And mm-hmm. I love what I do. And. You know, people ask me, you know, say, why are you still working? I mean, I don't, I don't need to do this, mm-hmm. but I want, I, I tell people I want to be, I want to be Martha Stewart. Okay. That woman's almost 90 years old. She's on the cover of a magazine in a bikini doing deals with Snoop Dogg. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I don't want to go to prison like she did. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but <laughs> that would not be a good thing for me. But I still, but I think a lot of it is your attitude. Yes. You know, and just knowing that, you know, I there's still, because it has to be, it has to be self-motivated too. Yes. You know, you either have a half empty or a half full glass and mine is, is half, is always half full, if not more. And I, I, I laugh things off. I laugh all the time. You know, I just, uh, I just don't think you should just sit and waller in your own self pity, get out and take care of yourself. And then I just, one last question. What now looking back on your whole van life, what was, what's the best experience the, the standout moment for you where you go like, this is great. I haven't had that yet. I just love it. What about here? Well, no, this sorry, is a stand- <laughs> <laughs> But Bob Wells, I just met with Bob Wells in Arizona a week and a half ago. Awesome. And he's our guru, our guru you know. Yes. So he interviewed me and I spent three days with him. By Thank his you. invitation, he found me. And I think maybe I knew, and I've been doing this two years, I never expected to make money. I never expected to grow, but I always knew that somehow Bob Wells would find me. And he did. And I, I told him, I said, I can't tell you why, but I knew I never approached him at any of the RTR. I'm not a groupie. I don't get in line to visit anybody. You know, I'll meet them when I meet them, you know, if, they, if that's what it is. And uh, yeah, he and I had, had a good laugh about it. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, Lindy. Well, thanks for yeah. stopping by. Thank you also for your service to our country. Thank you. Because uh, that's that's a big part of us here at the studios. Uh, our shows are also heard on American Forces Radio around Oh, the- are they? Yeah. So. Oh, I could tell you stories about 1960s. <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> I bet you could. Yeah, so it's, it's really great. I think it's so cool with Armed Forces that... Uh, that the show's heard in uh, 175 different countries. But I also, what I think is just so slick is that 200 ships at sea really? get the show. I just think that because... Oh, uh, that's great. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. That's great. Well, happy 76th birthday. Thank you. And safe travels. And next time you're in Phoenix, I want you to stop by. Okay. Thanks, Lindy. Thank you. Well, isn't she amazing? All right, think about all the home movies, family memories, even those... Precious, embarrassing moments that you have stored on VHS tapes. Now, I hate to tell you this, but you know it. The tapes are not going to last forever. How long? Maybe 10 to 30 years. So that's why it's super important that you back it all up before it's too late. So what can you do to preserve those precious memories? Okay, you can transfer your VHS tapes to a digital format. Uh, You can buy a VHS to DVD converter. It has a VHS player on one side and a DVD recorder on the other. Okay, but let's just face it. You don't want to do that because DVDs are going away too. Now, there are many services that will do the conversion for you. Uh, This is what I recommend. You send them the tapes and they return the tapes along with DVDs, a USB drive, and most importantly, they save them all in the cloud for you. Here, you want to use services like Legacy Box, South Tree, or iMemories. And then to preserve the tapes that you already have, I want you to be sure that you keep them in a cool, dry place away from uh, sunlight and humidity. And if you need links to those companies that I just mentioned, we have it all over at commando.com. All right, let's see. Greg in Orlando, Florida, welcome. Oh, I I was looking for a uh, program. I don't even know if it exists. If you're on your system, you know, and you're taking uh, uh, Zoom classes or some other training course where it can actually record all of the contents that's on the screen and then just put it in a file. So let's say maybe that night or tomorrow or the next day, you can call it up and you can see all the files, all the, you know, pictures, all the graphs and everything uh, or questions that were presented in the uh, uh, class or the uh, uh, program. That's awesome. What kind of class are you taking online? Uh, it's all, all different types of continuing education type stuff, you know, from soup to nuts, you know, uh, anywhere from, let's say, from uh, uh, financial management to, you know, HR. You know, everybody's doing stuff online, and they throw all this stuff up there, and they mm-hmm. throw all the questions up there. And, you know, you can't do a print screen or something. You're, you're sitting there trying to yeah. write all this stuff. <laughs> you're like, whoa, you know? this is bad. This is, I can't yeah. get all this. Yeah. I mean, maybe I should have had more coffee this morning. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, here's the deal is that um, you say, are you using Windows or Mac? 
Windows 11. Okay. Uh, with Windows, you actually have a built-in screen recorder. Uh, you're like, whoa, didn't know that. Um, magical key is that Windows key and yeah. uh, and plus the letter G. And then that's going to pop up a screen and that's where you can record what's happening on the screen. So there's all these classes you talked about, the graphics, the questions, the, the slides, everything is going to be saved into a file right on your computer. We've got steps on how to use that over on uh, commando.com. Now, if you find that you need more flexibility, uh, there's a program called OBS. It's been around forever, and it works on Windows and Mac. And so if you're trying to record what's happening on the screen, like in a class, as you mentioned, or even if, even if it's like maybe part of a YouTube video that you you know you don't want to download it, but you just want a certain part of it, that it really does make it easy. So you're not sitting there just trying to like remember every single thing that's going on and writing it down or taking your phone and recording that screen, because I know a lot of folks will do that too. So again, uh, Windows now has a, a built-in screen recorder. It's again, that Windows key plus the letter G. And if that doesn't work out for you, OBS, like I mentioned, it's been around for a long, long time. And that's a, another program. Just hang on the line, Greg. We're going to send you links out to uh, Microsoft and also over on our website and also OBS. So this way you can check it out. And thanks for your call today. All right, we can squeeze in another caller here. I know we can. Uh, Sharon in Salem, Oregon. Well, I've got this grandson. His name is Dietrich. He's nine years old. He's a good student, great reader, very creative and funny. And he loves some very popular graphic novels uh, like Captain Underpants and Dog Man. <laughs> I always thought that and, was so uh, funny, Captain Underpants. <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> I know, I know. It's very clever. And Inside each novel, they have flip pages where you can flip a couple of pages and they make the figures change and move. Mm -hmm. And he started making his own little flip books. Oh, how awesome. And uh, and he follows a couple of little animators on YouTube that basically do stick figures and so forth. And he's really interested in advancing beyond a flip book if possible. I said, well, I'm going to contact. I know a person I can contact, and that's, her name is Kim Commando. <laughs> and maybe she has an app that would be good for someone who's just learning how to do computer animation. And that led to my email to you. Well, and I read it, and thank you for that. I do read every single email that folks send me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna tell you about a few, and you don't need to write anything down, okay? Uh, because Amber, who's so great at screening calls, uh, she's gonna go ahead and give you some links to all of these, okay? Oh, excellent! Uh, thank the, you. The, the first one is free, and we always like free, especially when kids oh, are yeah. concerned, because you know they can like one thing one day, and then they don't like it two days later. So. Uh, it's called Pencil 2D. It's really a great starting po point for beginning animators. Uh, then there's also something called Toon Boom Harmony. And it's really a, more of a professional grade. So after, uh, you said his name is Dietrich. After Dietrich kind of goes through Pencil 2D and he's going to come to you and say, you know, this is great, Granny, but I want something a little bit better. Actually, there's another one. There's something called Tayosu Sketches. Uh, it's a drawing tool. It also has time lapse, so it can give him just a different perspective. So between these three, I think you're probably going to find the best solution for Dietrich and to, uh, you know, kind of expand this skill set and and what he's really thinking about what he wants to do right now. Again, it's called Pencil 2D. That's the one to start. Tayasu Sketches is number two on my list, and Toon Boom Harmony is number three. So. I know you're like, oh, I didn't get any of those. Well, if you need any of those, make sure that you sign up for our free newsletters because we're going to go ahead and post that over at getkim.com. Once again, that's getkim.com. Sharon, thank you so much for your call today. You know, one thing to keep in mind when we start talking about animations is size and file size. Okay, like one minute of standard def animation can be anywhere between five and 20 megs. Okay, high def, wow. Okay, 1080p, one minute can be up to 100 megs and that's compressed. So make sure you keep track of all that storage space on the, the little guy's phone or device. Okay, researchers have found hackers are breaking into hotel booking systems and then using that inside access to totally target you. So after you book a room or a trip, you might get a message that seems like it's from your hotel or maybe from a travel agency. It says something like, uh, did you request a room with an ocean view? Do you need assistance with a certain medical condition? Then they drop the link in there. Ah, yeah, that's where trouble starts. 
Click on that, and then you're going to be taken to what looks like a super official page asking for your credit card details. Okay, it's a scam. So what can you do? First, always, always, always check the URL. If it looks shady, yeah, it probably is. Uh, Next, if you're in doubt, what I want you to do is actually call the hotel. Yes, speak to a human being or the agency directly. And most importantly, don't click unsolicited links ever, 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 ever. And you can always find me at commando.com. This program is a copyrighted production of Westar Multimedia Entertainment and protected by the copyright laws. Any rebroadcast or use of this program for commercial, business, economic, or financial purposes without the written permission of Westar Multimedia Entertainment is strictly prohibited.